Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have learned the different methods of accessing the DOM elements. We have seen it. Get element by ID, get element by class name, and get element by tag name, query selector, and also the query selector all. So these are all the different ways how we can access the DOM HTML loads. We have seen it. Now we have seen another the important thing is the written types. So if you are trying to select query selector means it is returning an element node. If you are trying to use uh, uh, what I can say get elements by class name or tag name if you are using it is returning HTML collection. And if you are trying to use query selector all it is returning a node list. So that means it consists of an element nodes list of element nodes. So the di different types of written types we are able to see that means HTML collection element node and a load node list. So we will try to see one by one about these all the things before learning about this one. First of all, we need to know about the node HTML DOM node. So what is a DOM node? So we need to have a clear understanding about this DOM node. So let's try to understand about this DOM node. So whatever I know, I will try to explain you. So let's try to see DOM node. So what is the node? Okay, actually well, you need to understand what is a node. At a very basic level, we can say that every item in the DOM tree is a node. So we know that the DOM is a tree like structure. So every item or every branch or every leaves in a tree, something like that instead of having a leaves or something like that. So everything is a node. Every item in a DOM tree is a node. So that means DOM tree is a collection of all the nodes. That is one, that is one thing you need to understand. We know that every HTML document is made up of a tree. So we know that every HTML document is made up of a tree. We can say that DOM tree is made up of HTML nodes and these nodes consist of bunch of elements like paragraph, div, etc. So now the DOM tree is made up of HTML nodes. So the DOM tree is a combination of all the HTML nodes and these nodes consist of bunch of elements like paragraph, div, image, HTML, head. These are all called as nodes. Each node can have HTML attributes. So each node can also have HTML attributes also. So node type 1 means uh, it is an element node, 2 means it's an attribute node. So like that we will be having. Each node can have an HTML attributes. Nodes can also have content including other nodes and also text. So the node, in return this node also can have uh, content including other nodes. So it can also have other nodes and text. For example, let's say the div element. So div element inside a div element. We have so many things, right? So we have other other elements also we'll be having. So those are called as another nodes. So this is all about a brief introduction of the node. So node means a DOM tree, every item in a DOM tree, we can call it as a node. So head element and these all things consist of a DOM tree, right? So these all items are called as a nodes. So we can say it as a head node, a paragraph node, div node, like that we can say. It. So let's try to see the example. So here I'm having a small snippet. So here I'm having HTML head element inside this head element. I'm having a title tag and inside this title tag, I'm having a text, something like notes introduction. Okay. So let me see what notes are there in this HTML snippet. So let, let us see what notes are there in this HTML snippet. So if you try to see here, so the first one is HTML, right? So I have added here the HTML at the top. You'll be able to see here. I have added the, oh, sorry. So here I have added the HTML. So first one is the HTML. So that is the reason this HTML I have added. The next one comes the head, right? So that is the reason we are able to see the next one is the head. Fine. And here we are having another one is the text. So head, head means immediately after the head, what we are having? Title tag we are having. But this time we are having a text node here. Okay, this is called as a node. So these are all nodes. So text node. So text node here means what we, what, what we can see is so here we are having the enter right so written written enter and the white space we are having so this is the white space we are having so these all white space and enter these all consists of a this is all also considered as a text node okay this is also considered as an empty space and all those things considered as a text node so that is the reason i have added here text then afterwards you are having a title tag in this title tag we are having a text node that is nothing but notes introduction and after that, and after that, after this title tag, again, we are having one enter. Okay. Again, we are having one enter return. So we can say it as written. So that one is also considered as an text node. So this one is a text node. And the last one, we are also having a another text node. So there is nothing but before closing this heading. So this is how we will be having the 
this is called this is how we will be having the uh, what i can say uh, this, uh, this is how we will be having the dom tree node so this one is an this this returns an element node okay this is called as an element node and head is also called as an head element node so head node we can call it as an head node and this one is a text node so this one is a text node so text node this one is empty space so new spa spaces and new line space new line and here you can say title 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 element node so title node we can say it as a title node and this one is a nodes intro so in the title we are having a text right so we can say it as a nodes intro so this is also text node and after the title we will be having a return right return means enter so new new line new line something like that so this is also a text node so like this actually the nodes are divided so here you need to understand this is very important you need to understand it clearly so html we are having and head we are having head after we are having space and a new line so this one is divided into text node and this one is a title node and this is again a text node and here this is also we are having some space and the new line so that is also divided as a text node so this is all you need to remember about this node so why these empty text and the returns are converted into nodes so you may be having a doubt that okay fine title have a text uh, that is nothing but nodes introduction we are having the text okay that that one we can convert into text why these empty text and all the written written files and also the spaces and all those things are converted into the nodes it is because every character in the document okay so that means every character in the html document so whatever the html document we are trying to see every character in the document has to be eventually become the part of the dom it should become the part of the dom so it should be it should be available in the dom whatever the characters or whatever the data it is available in the html document it should be a part of the dom so that is the main important thing it means that any new line or space are valid characters so we already know that new line or space is a valid characters only just like the letters or numbers and are such that they have to be become a part of the dom so because of that reason they have to become a part of the dom this is uh, why why we, we need, it needs to be become a part of the dom means this is because for the critical rendering process so we'll discuss about this critical rendering process uh, going on so just try to remember this one critical rendering process we had to form a render tree so render tree means this is the different from the dom tree so we'll discuss about this render tree and all those things also so in order to display the data in the browser so we need a render tree a render tree has to be constructed so when, whenever you want to show the output in the browser so the browser will prepare a render tree render tree is nothing but a combination of dom and also a css som i will try to explain you so this is called as a critical rendering process and part of the render tree is to combine the dom with the css som css som means the css whatever you are writing it has to combine with the dom so that it can display the data in the browser and in forming this dom we need to include all the characters within your html so in order to form this render tree and all those things whatever the dom we are having we need to include all the characters in your html in short what i can say is so this is all uh, uh, i explain you briefly right so in short what i can say is we need every character to form part of our dom and that's why new lines or spaces are included in our nodes that is the main thing so this is all about the node thing and how that nodes are constructed in the dom so we have seen it but there are two exceptions in this while constructing the nodes or one guy while constructing the dom preparing the nodes so there are two exceptions what are those two exceptions is let's see first exception is the new lines or spaces above the head element are ignored so whatever the uh, new line or spaces everything is there above the head element above the head tag opening tag those are ignored and the second exception is if you place the text after the body element so after the closing of this body element if you place any text it will be moved inside the body by the dom so that all content will be moved to the inside the body remember that the dom has to consist the html code and the html spec requires that all the content must be inside a body tag so this is all uh, ex, uh, specs according to the specs in order to be in order to make a valid html code so all the content whatever the content you want to display in the browser it should be inside the body tag so that is the reason whatever the content you are writing outside the body tag it will be moved to the uh, inside of the body tag by the dom so we can't have the new lines or spaces outside the body element 
so this is also one uh, second extension so whatever the uh outside you are writing it will be moved to the inside body element so that is the reason we can't have any new lines or spaces or anything outside the body element so this is all about the dom node still lot more is there we, uh, we need to cover about the nodes and all those things we'll cover it hope you understood about the introduction of the dom node if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you